Host yo, truckers. How y'all doing today? I'm here in uh, American Truck Simulator and we're in Reno. I'm here at the shop. Got my truck pulled out. Got her all shined up and slicked up. Uh, just going to take a look at the job market here and see we're in Reno. Let's go there. We got one thing for Reno. Empty pallets. Let's go to Oakland, I guess. I want to go up into Oregon into Washington. I hadn't been up there. So, San Rafael or Oakland? Plasters of Sun or Oakland Shippers? Let's go to Plaster and Suns. Right. Hey, let's get this old thing started up here. I guess we're going to go pick up our, let's go pick up the load. Now it's going to be a little touchy with the brakes and the accelerator. I'm driving with an Xbox controller here. But hey, I can get it done though. <laughs> Anybody coming this way? I think I went over that sidewalk, didn't I? It said I could go. <laughs> anyway, I figure since it's a long drive over here, how far do we got to get? Looks like six minutes or six miles. Let's get her in the right gear here. I ain't played this in a long time, folks. May take a minute. We're speeding like crazy, too. I don't want to run with, with a cruise control on in town. I do use a cruise control out on the highway, though. That's for sure. Look at that guy. I can't remember, but I think I got the speeding, and I don't think I can get a ticket. I don't think, if I remember right. But anyway, it's a uh, what is it like eight o'clock in the morning? We're out here on Pacific Standard Time. We got one mile to go. Looks like we can go one mile in nine minutes. Let's get a little closer to that. Huh? Inch on up here. <laughs> oh, red light. used to have a steering wheel and everything. Man, that thing was nice. Driving this thing, you double clutch and everything. <laughs> it was pretty sweet, I better stop. Follow him to the home store. Wonder why we don't ever see any of these other truckers making deliveries. I like pull in, you gotta wait and turn. I'll let that guy get done. Like in real life. <laughs> There's not many places you just pull right up to it and boom, you gotta unload. Yeah, or tell us we gotta be there at a certain time, then not let us unload for. That thing said I had to get on this side of the road, now it's telling me I gotta get back over there. That's why you never can trust GPS. 
Yeah, it told me to get all the way over now. Right here? Yeah, right here. And right here? That's the box we gotta pick up right there. So let's go here and get that. Yep, that's the one we want, man. We will take it. Ah. We'll just go and do her like this, huh? Put her in gear. There you go, it usually works. Everybody out of the way? I didn't clear my surroundings. Just back her on in here, gently like. One of my mirrors is messed up. Alright, we're on it. Guess what? We don't even have to get out to hook it all up, but uh, it ain't too spectacular. It's almost setting on my mud flap, man. If that thing scratches my chrome mud flaps, these people are gonna pay for it. I'm telling that right now. Um, let's go out this way. I don't like making that big swing. Tough swing to come straight out of that, out onto the road here. We got a green light. I shifted way too soon, way too fast. We'll get there though, man. Don't worry about that. stop <laughs> I tell you it's gonna be a little rough uh, driving with an Xbox controller but <laughs> I used to work better than a mouse and keyboard I don't know if anybody's ever tried that but uh, I think I tried it once just to see what it was I was a youtuber was driving uh, I think it's back in Euro truck simulator but uh, yeah, he said that somebody sent him a uh, steering wheel and foot pedals and everything when they found out that he was driving doing all that with a keyboard. He said, There's no way you're driving and doing that with a keyboard, man. He's here. But, so after hearing of that, I decided to try it. And yeah, there's no way. I just sent him one. <laughs> But you can be smooth with the Xbox controller, you just gotta, you just gotta be smooth. And it's just like a real truck, man, you just gotta take your time, you know. Don't be getting in a hurry to get up there and do it. You know. Take your time. You'll get there. But anyway, I figured since it's such a long trip, you yeah, know, I'm glad I took off early in the morning. So, uh, but anyway, I figured I might tell y'all a little story about a fella, uh, uh, we'll call him Jimmy Whites, how about that, uh, okay, well, there's a cop, look out everybody, but anyway, <laughs> I met Jimmy Whites one time, I met him a few times actually, but, uh, when I was first met him, we were sitting around out in his yard there, and uh, he had this dog named Troubles. <laughs> oh, Jimmy just got to laughing. That dog brought me a stick, and he just got to laughing. He said, Jabo, he said, will you play fetch with that dog? He said, that dog just loves to play fetch. I was like, well, yeah, I'll play with your dog. There ain't no problem. I better drive right. There's a state trooper right next to me. But, uh, he said, yeah, I'll play with your dog. There ain't no problem, Jimmy. I picked that stick up and I, I tossed it across the yard. Old Troubles, he took off. He took off after it and he brought it back. And he's a good dog too. He brought it back and he dropped the stick right at your feet and sit down. 
you can sit down and look at you. Jimmy just rolled over laughing. Jay, will you throw that duck? Throw that duckum stick one more time for that dog. He just loves to play fetch. I was like, well, yeah, I thought it was kind of odd at that point, but I didn't think much nothing else about it. But uh, so I picked the stick up. And that dog just sat there and he just looked so happy and everything. I throw it across the yard, dog took off after the stick. He went and got it. He come back just to happy as be bopping along, carrying the stick. Come over there, drop the stick right at my feet. Sit down. <laughs> Jimmy, here he goes again, dying laughing. He, he throw that stick one more time, J Bo. He said, that dog just loves to play fetch. He said he just loves it so much. He said, can't get nobody to play fetch with him. Will you throw it one more time? Yeah, y'all keep throwing the stick. Hey, this ain't no problem. It's kind of weird. That, you know, you keep asking such way, you know. But uh, I don't think nothing of it. I picked the stick up. And I give it a good toss across the yard again. That dog turns around, takes off. He goes gets the stick. No problem, just like before. He takes that stick and he puts it right there, right at my feet. Sits down. <laughs> yeah, what he did next so that's the real part after he did that this is the third time throwing that stick he went and got it all three times that third time he come back he dropped that stick at my feet instead of sitting down this time that dog said there bit me right on the machine <laughs> of course that that Jimmy he just went to die and laughing some more rolling over and uh, <laughs> sorry, I got to pay attention to driving too. But uh, yeah, he went to dying laughing, just rolling out of his chair. Oh, it about gave him a heart attack. That was so funny. <laughs> and asked me, he said, "Why don't you play one more time, J Bo? And he said, "Will you throw that stick for that dog one more time? <laughs> you take that dog and shove him up your ass, Jimmy." <laughs> Yeah, Trebles was a good dog. I missed my turn, didn't I? Or is this it? Oh, I missed my turn. I'm going through a red light, too. That's what I get for doing all the talk. Now it tells me I should have went ahead and went straight. Watch, I get there. <laughs> I should have waited told that story I got out on the highway, but anyway. Can I not get there from here? Uh, yeah, we get there. Good deal. All right, we're back on track. That little red car just disappeared underneath me there. Everybody all right up there? It's too finicky with me doing it, trying to split shift it. Right now, anyway, we'll just run through all the gears. Wind her out here. Come on, let me over, folks. Thank you. What's the speed limit out here on this wagon trail, anyway? Cruise control 65. We'll kick her about 55 and call her good. <laughs> How's my fuel? I should stop and get some. A little late now. Ah, it's never too late. We always got reverse. I'm telling you on this game, them medians, try to turn around on this interstate when you see one of them little spots where you can turn around. It's a little tough. It ain't exactly easy doing it in a big rig. That, it's like in real life, it's better to just go on to the next exit. And, you know, the next exit ain't that far up. 
I don't even know if they still got places you can cross over on these medians. I used to have a spot every now and then it'd be about as wide as a car. <laughs> if you could fit through there, you, you got it. What is this up here? Looks like we got some road work ahead. We'll get ready for it. Ooh, this is one narrow lane right here. See, this is what's wrong. Everybody says, hey, what is this AI, you know? Why do these people uh, drive like they do on this game? That's it, because they programmed it like real life. Ooh, that's narrow. Because in real life, everybody waits till that last minute to scoot over, you know? You've seen a scoot over sign, uh... Well, in this game, it ain't that far. There's one of them crossover points if you want to try to fit through. <laughs> I've tried. But, uh... Well, in this game, it's like a mile back, but... Usually, they're further back than that. But you see it every time there'll be a line of cars like that sitting there waiting to get over so they can go through the construction. They knew to scoot over, but they didn't know. I can bypass the nearby way station. That is sweet. Dude, I'm speeding. Tis 55 through here. I must be in California. What is this guy doing? This ain't much fair. Why is he getting a pass? <laughs> Can't really be 55, can it? Watch out, little car. I'm gonna scoot over. They'll back off. Whoa, then he backs off. That dude just brake checked me without hitting his brakes, though. <laughs> but no, these AI drivers, they drive just like people in real life. You'll be coming up to a crossroads or something, they'll sit there and wait on you. They'll wait on you till you get right there at the crossroads and they'll pull out. It's funny, really. How accurate they made it. Dang, now I'm speeding again. Man, these speed limits don't know what they're going to do. I gotta say, we gotta be in California. <laughs> 55, 65, 55. Then this guy over here, he just drives what he wants to, I guess. We're doing about 45 now. <laughs> Where are we going anyway? Oh, we're going over to. Yonder. <laughs> it's too much traffic. I don't want to be looking at my maps and stuff. Gotta stay. Gotta stay focused. That guy takes up. <laughs> I'm trying to hit the cruise control and the shift gears wasn't working. I hit downshift instead. I guess that's the truck speed limit, the 55. 
So I just seen a 65 mile an hour speed limit go by. Ooh, I'm freewheeling with the retarder on, still getting up 58 mile an hour. Maybe because I had it in such a high gear, I didn't realize what gear I was in there. But anyway, this is... Oh man, it's been one of my all-time favorite games. Uh, SCS, they had a uh, hard truck 2 back in the day. <laughs> yeah, it sucked. But I drove the hell out of them trucks, though. Um, I think it was this company that had it. It's been in that like franchise the whole time. Anyway, I got Euro Truck Simulator 2, and uh, before American Truck Simulator came out, I bet you I drove 4 million miles on Euro Truck. That's a fun challenge, driving a American Peterbilt in Europe. <laughs> Loan installment, uh-oh. $7,000. Well, that's good I got the money, though. I think I got, I got one employee, I think. Like, just hired. Just totally got like no experience. I'm sure you'll see it in a minute. He'll probably have some money come in. Probably won't be much. But anyway, we're just now getting to where I don't know how many loads I've delivered since I bought this truck, but I took out five hundred thousand dollar loan by this truck. Uh, bought another truck and put that dude in it. Hired a guy. I think at 132,000, that's about what I got left after doing that. But, as long as this truck's rolling with a trailer behind it, I'm getting paid. You gotta spend money to make money, <laughs> right? Looks like we got an exit coming up here. We'll go ahead and flip on the old Jake brake here. <laughs> I love that thing. Probably flipped it on a little early, probably not. Yeah, that looked like an old Cadillac just went by. straight out I thought we would I guess we're gonna bebop up on two-lane highway here for the next 60 miles That's one thing that, I think it was a Euro Truck Simulator. It was cool because you could, most of the places was off out in the highway, you know? It was like not a lot of interstate. Sometimes if it's a good highway, Kind of fun driving a semi down a highway. Two lane highway. I always wish to see them farm tractors back there. There goes the police. I always wish that they'd kind of combine the uh, truck simulator with farming simulator 
Oh yeah, I'm running out of fuel. <laughs> Why didn't nobody stop me? Crap. San Rafael, there's gotta be a fuel depot up here. Here, let's look real quick. Where's the map? Where's the map? Yes, there's fuel. Right here. Let's put us a little waypoint there. Alright, back at it. <laughs> Can't believe we did. I said that we, long time back. We should get some fuel. Too far off the beaten track. Boy, I just hate paying the fuel costs these days. I think I got a 200 gallon tanks here. I'm almost empty. Holy moly. Think about how much this is going to be. Nobody's there. I can cut the corner. <laughs> This thing's meant for a car. Nobody checked the clearance on the roof. Let's right, see what this is gonna cost us here. Four dollars and four cents a gallon. Yep, there's a hundred gallons. Hundred thirty gallon, five hundred twenty-six dollars. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm going to hit that pump in. 100 bucks is I can turn this around right here. I don't need to go all the way back around and go up that thing. Can't always trust the GPS, folks. I think we got about another 28 minutes on our trip here. You hear me scratch that gear? <laughs> It'll do that if you switch up a gear and back down a gear or something like that. You'll hear that transmission clunk. <laughs> it's fun. Oh, we gotta get right back off the interstate now. So we're kind of there. We're kind of here now. I don't know what side of the road I need to be on. I guess both sides. Well, I don't know about that side. I can't even see the road over here. Wide it out on my screen. <laughs> now I can see what's going on. Speed limit around here anyway. 
55. We gotta make a big circle off and around, looks like. Yeah, no, so we're not that close. We're about as close as Benny Goats and his cousin, I guess. <laughs> That old boy is telling him one day, he said, well, Benny, we're kin. He said, we're cousin. He said, well, we ain't that close. He said, we're closer than you think. <laughs> I don't know what he meant by that, but that was funny. But you got to know feller like Benny. I told this fella my case of beer blew out of the back of my truck one day so I could drink his beer and he believed me. <laughs> the whole time my beer sat behind the seat. Yeah, his beer was better than mine anyway. It tasted better at the time. I guess we are here. They gonna tell us to park this sucker somewhere. Here's a nice bike. Oh, let's wait on that cop. And this big truck. Hey, it looks like me. I wonder if that's my, my guy. No, I didn't buy him a fancy sun visor. <laughs> he got the basic model truck. He's gonna have to make do with that. He learns to take care of that, I'll buy him something nice. I probably gonna want us to take this around back somewhere. I see. Where you want it? Right in the middle of the building. Oh wow. Ah, man, that'd be a little too easy, won't it? Especially if you can drive around this whole parking lot. Ah, you're supposed to have to back it in somewhere, not just drive around a parking lot, pull through the doors. That's too easy. But I'll do it. <laughs> I will do it. Where are we at? Right there. We're going in. Easy peasy. Japanesey, I guess. Slow her down now, you're inside the building. There we go. That folks, is it? Excellent job, excellent, excellent job. Hey, we gotta level up to. And I don't know what we're gonna do. I've been doing high value cargo and just in time. Um, I don't know if I want to get into explosives on this one. Um, I've done a bunch of companies where I did the explosives. Uh, let's go ahead and top our high value cargo out. Uh, you get a lot of money for that. But, anyway, folks. Oh, we're in here. Hey, that's the inside, ain't it cool? That's cool, I've never parked inside a warehouse before. But, anyway, hey, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and uh, I'll see y'all later.